I had just moved here, no insurance, no job, drawing very little money for my pension, and was desperately needing some health care. I look around in the place that I live, I see people with so much to give. The day that I actually decided to leave, he had a gun to my head. If somebody we were scared to go out in public. The stares that we got, and people were full of questions and I didn't know how to answer them. Challenge Child was my family's acceptance. We were able to come here and find our second family. My son has Down syndrome. He was very late walker. He didn't walk until almost two. He did not speak until he was almost three. This place filled us with confidence. He was accepted. We had friends and they helped him to do things that we didn't know how to do. If not for Challenge Child and Friends, we would probably still be staying at home, still eating baby food. Hitting slapping he would like embarrass me in front of people then the next thing that happens is well he just snapped if I had known there was anything like circle of hope I maybe I wouldn't have stayed as long as I did it has provided me with counseling helping me get my kids to and from school my kids counseling housing they coach you to get a job also they helped me with Christmas they took the burden off of that. My kids had a wonderful Christmas. They made me feel like they care about me, that I can do anything, and they made my kids feel that same way. Since I've been over here in that circle of hope, it's changed everything. These people are doing good things. If it weren't for the people here at Greasegate, I guess there's a good possibility I wouldn't even be here. They have helped me through arterial defibrillation. They've helped me through the congestive heart failure. They've helped me when I had cancer on my face. I look forward to coming because of the prayer partner, uh, the prayer they, they have before they start seeing patients back here. It's a blessing. If it wasn't for Gracegate, there's so many of us wouldn't have nowhere to go to see a doctor. You know, we can't afford it because we don't make that much money. And if it wasn't for Grace Gate, I don't think I'd be able to afford my medicine. Having one of the worst economic crises in recent memory, this is a hard time for a lot of people. And every single person that we see at Grace Gate would have limited access to health care were it not for that facility. And we could not do it without our donations from United Way. United Way is that check that we know is coming in, that we know for a fact that we can buy that piece of therapy equipment because we know that um, we can count on our United Way donations. And if you're struggling with thinking, well, why should I care? Well, the only way Joy was able to get help was that she found a brochure with our name and number on it. We need supporters to help fund programs such as this so that we can get the word out on a much larger scale that there is help. But it takes all of us, even if it's a dollar at a time, literally, it takes all of it to make it happen. Someday you may be in my situation and need it. And it's nice to think that, well, I gave when I could. My name is Ken Smith. I work here at Ethicon, but I also give and I volunteer to support our United Way because I believe in the help for today and the hope for tomorrow mission of this organization. When you and I give to United Way, we not only support those three agencies that were featured in today's video, but 22 others here in the community. 
In addition, your United Way has went above and beyond to develop other programs to meet community needs. For instance, when school counselors called and told us that children were living in homes with no heat in the winter, your United Way started a heating assistance program. When we were made aware that there were high schoolers failing courses and not graduating high school because they could not get the help they needed with homework, your United Way started an after school program at the high school called Lift. When your United Way found out that a soup kitchen was in search of a new home, open space was offered in the building we occupy. All of these good works could not occur without your generosity. Our United Way is totally supported by this community. When you give, 99 cents out of every dollar goes right back to meeting needs. As president of the Board of Directors of United Way, I want to thank you for your support and ask that you dig deep this year and join our efforts as we provide help for today and hope for tomorrow. Thank you. Giving today provides hope for tomorrow. Thank you for giving me hope. Don't you know so? Someone...